What's the next logical step after you buy a PlayStation 3 together? Well, of course, it's buying a house together. The Ballad of Lily, Chapter 5, Living Daylights. And if you've missed the previous parts, those links are in the description. Thank you so much for choosing to join me again today. A freaking subscribe to Red X! I hope that you do, but I can't live your life for you. Hello, guys, gals, and all the wonderful colors of our beautiful rainbow. It's me, Luca, here with Part 5 of The Ballad of Lily. There has been some strife some slips of her mask, and what I, in hindsight, believe to be subtle manipulation. Not even that subtle, honestly. <laughs> Today we chronicle our search for a home to buy, and some shenanigans during and after. Why, why are you gonna do all this? Y you're not even married, right? Let's think about this critically. It, it, it is a dumpster fire in the making. As always, I will preface this by saying that I do not hate Lily. And Lily, if you happen to stumble across this, I hope you're doing well. This is only my side of how events transpired. We were neither of us perfect, and with the benefit of hindsight, we were just not right for one another. But beards we both were, in some ways. Myself, in more traditional ways, as my depression escalated, her in more manipulative and abusive ways. With all that out of the way, uh, let's get into the cast list. Well, I'm glad things are going better for you, Luca. I'm, I'm sure they're going fine for Lily too, you know? And this series of videos is definitely gonna help. We're super therapeutic here at Red X Industries, all right? <laughs> OP, yeah, that's our OP. Bean pole of a guy with a budding beer gut. Recently kicked smoking and drinking. Together? God, that's superhuman. <laughs> Edgy goth kid that, yes, did own a leather trench coat, and yes, wore it regularly. No fedora or fingerless gloves, and I didn't shave as often as one should have. I think just the leather trench coat works fine. That's a good thing to have. Or maybe I should tell you it's unfashionable and outdated and you should give it to me. <laughs> Lily is my girlfriend, five foot two of pissed off chihuahua energy. Traditionally attractive, but short tempered and possessive. Often referred to herself as Yandere, which for those of you not into weavery, means someone who is willing to harm or even kill people who interfere with their love interest. I mean, at least she's aware of the problem. That makes me hopeful that she was able to fix it at some point. Uh, Matt is bro dude with a soul patch and a 90s Subaru Hoopty. One of my best friends at the time continues to be a friend to this day. Does he know about the series? Hey Matt, what's going on? How you doing, buddy? <laughs> with the preface out of the way, let's get into the meat of the tale. This chapter, Living Daylights. I think I said that before. <laughs> Where last we left off, I had consigned my finances largely to Lily leaving a bit, $200 a paycheck, to myself to spend as I please. That's a pretty hefty entertainment budget when you come to think of it. We had also decided after some discussion to officially go on the hunt for a house. First, we'd have to save. We opted to put $100 of each paycheck into a saving account to save for a down payment. This left me with $100 of spending money per paycheck. Plenty of money back in 2008 to play around with, but Nothing really to write home about. I do agree a hundred bucks is a hundred bucks, all right? But I'm very loath to believe that you and Lily will ever actually buy a house. Maybe it's just like one of those fun things that keeps the relationship together but isn't as expensive as a baby. Dreams of the future are the cheapest glue available. <laughs> uh, so months passed without incident. Lily had continued the research and concluded that we could comfortably afford a home worth $150,000. And we went on the hunt. If this is in California, you're gonna end up in a crack shack. That's not... <laughs> that's not much at all. Her birth father's promise to pitch in a bit, mainly closing costs, our savings, and a first-time home buyer's deal meant that we could finally get to the business of hunting a house in earnest. Oh boy, you're really doing this, aren't you? Okay, with the budget of $150,000, let's play House Hunters Tulsa Edition! <laughs> this could actually be a fun game. Let's play it right now as you were watching the video, all right? 
<laughs> myself, I didn't have any real requirements. At least two bedrooms, a nice living room, and a decent kitchen. Nothing special, but it ticked all the boxes of our current situation, and we were happy enough here, so anything extra was just a bonus. Lily's requirements. Four bedrooms minimum! <laughs> Bro, we already out. <laughs> Uh, unless you count the closets as bedrooms. One for a guest room, another for a game room where a pool table could be placed, two-car garage, in-ground pool, <laughs> large living room, vaulted ceilings, spacious dining room, kitchen with a center island, large master with ensuite bathroom, at least two bathrooms. Bro, you, you... What? <laughs> Uh, you're not gonna find that basically, and you come to the Philippines, you're still not gonna be able to find that for that price. Okay, maybe that's a lie, but you ain't coming to the Philippines, are you? You're looking for this in, in Arizona. How are you this disconnected? Have you ever been to planet Earth? <laughs> so of course, OP balks at all of these requirements, and how we could possibly find a home with all of that with only 150k on our budget. But Lily was insistent, so I relented. No, this is a thing you can't relent on, okay? <laughs> Force her to live in the real world for a second. Scale down! Or, if we're really gonna do this, then we have to scale our budget up. But you're not gonna find this for 150 thou. Many of our house hunting conversations went like this. OP, hey, what about this one, Lily? It doesn't have a pool! OP, true, but it's got everything else, and the office could easily be converted into your game room, Lily. It doesn't have a pool. Why are you even showing me this? Jesus Christ, dude. <laughs> uh, are you kidding me? OP, look, I I'm just trying to find a compromise. We might not get everything you want, but something close to it is certainly achievable, Lily. Ugh! I told you, OP, I want what I want. Anything less isn't even worth looking at, OP. All right, then. Let's keep looking. <laughs> Repeat this conversation ad nauseum for the next few months. How do you even have the, the patience to endure something like this is what I want to know. Is it because she's just that conventionally attractive and deep down in your heart you really don't think that you can do better? Anything would be better than this. A relationship's a two-way street. I don't even know why we're bothering here. Oh, you're driving me nuts. So it took us a few months of looking, checking various realty websites daily for new listings when one finally showed up. It met all of her requirements, and surprisingly came just short of 150000 I was shocked. It even had a covered deck and a fireplace. The area of town wasn't bad either. That being said, real estate in Oklahoma is some of the cheapest in the United States. Oh, Oklahoma. Why did I say Arizona earlier? <laughs> but yes, cheapest in the United States even today. However... In curiosity, I looked up the value of that home today, and it would be worth around 275000 in 2023 dollars. And the rate of inflation has only been like 4% between 2008 and now. Truth is, land, property is the best investment you can make, bar none. <laughs> On top of all that, thanks to recent, at the time, political changes, we would qualify for a $7,500 credit as first-time home buyers. Hell yeah, incentivized housing collapse! <laughs> to make a boring story less boring, we made a bid at just above the asking price, and after a lot of paperwork and credit checks and income verification and even more paperwork, we were standing at the threshold of our new home, keys in hand. It must have felt pretty good in the moment, and then when it all falls down <laughs> a short while later, there will be a time for regret. Matt helped us to move, of course, because he is a bro of the purest caliber. It was a two-story home, vaulted ceilings in the living area, with a staircase leading from the front door landing, winding up and to the left to lead to the upstairs bedrooms, of which there were three. 
There was also a bathroom. Downstairs was the master, primary bathroom, kitchen, and dining room. The living room was spacious. I have to say, when she sets her mind to something, she really can make it happen. Again, I admired her stick to itiveness She really found a house ticking all of her boxes for the price that we had budgeted. Yeah, that's because she's a witch, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> Uh, how many small animals did you have to sacrifice to make this happen, huh? You're a monster! While we were moving out, Matt had discovered a lingering pack of cigarettes that I had stashed above the microwave and just neglected to throw away. It was open and obviously stale by that point, but as he was tossing it, Lily's keen eyes caught what was going into the bin. Oh god, here we go. <laughs> uh, cigarettes! I can beat the living daylights out of you! Lily nearly shouted. All right, bring it on then! You really want to do this? Equal rights, equal fights? <laughs> uh, I know, I know OP wouldn't actually punch Lily, but we're jumping to conclusions here, ain't we? OP tries to tell his side of the story. Oh, I had forgotten those were there. I quit just before you moved in. I just forgot about him. She narrowed her eyes at me. How long before? Oh my god, dude. <laughs> uh, she nearly growled. I shrugged. I don't know. Two or three weeks? Let me smell them, she demanded. Bro, she is a witch. She's a Baba Yaga. Somebody check her for a mortar and pestle. <laughs> uh, uh, okay. I dug the cigarettes out and let her take a whiff. These smell fresh, she said again. <laughs> <laughs> Louder than polite conversation. Yes, the flip top bops from Winston keeps the cigarettes fresh for an extended period of time. Then your leg bad girlfriend can yell at you about them for seemingly no reason. Things were just going too well, you know? She has to throw a monkey wrench into it. How about this? How about I start smoking again just to spite you? <laughs> uh, that's how much I hate how you're acting right now. At this point, Matt's eyebrows shot up. This was the first time that she had let her mask slip in front of him. They're not. Hell, these are probably months old. I tapered off long before you moved in, Lily. Matt, you know smokes. Are these fresh? Matt took a whiff. Nah, man. These are old as hell. He casually responded before throwing them in the bin. Of course your stupid tuner friend would defend you, she rebutted, which made Matt stop what he was doing. I'm sorry, his what? He asked. Lily, seemingly having realized that her mask had slipped, quickly reaffixed it and let out a sigh. I'm sorry, Matt. I'm just really opposed to smoking. You know that. I'm sorry I lashed out. If you say they're old, they're old. I have no reason to doubt you. Is anybody buying this? Is anybody actually believing that she's just gonna let this go? Nope, it's going in the back pocket for later, I'll tell you. I responded, Lily, your nose is sharp. If I was still smoking, there's no way that you wouldn't know. She confidently strode up to me and gave me a big sniff. You stink! Jesus, <laughs> I hate this, dude. Uh, how are you so wretched about absolutely everything? OP says, yeah, of course I stink. I've been moving stuff all day. Can we move on, please? Matt gave me a worried look. I just shrugged at him and gave him a look that said, Let it go, man. No, Matt, don't let it go. Save him, man! <laughs> You're the only one that sees this situation for what it is right now. But yeah, also, they just bought a house together, so... I don't know. Maybe it's best to just cross fingers and hope for the best. With that bit of drama behind us, the rest of the move went on without incident. We treated Matt to supper as thanks for helping, and bought him a six-pack as well. Hell yeah, the six-pack is supper, brother. Party demon, whoa! <laughs> as I walked him to his car after returning the rental van, he took me aside. What was that stupid tuner friend thing about? She gets that way sometimes. It's not a big deal. She just really hates the idea of me smoking anymore, and so when she saw that pack, it set her off. She trusts you, but... Her trust kind of melts if she suspects something. I'm sure she didn't mean it. I lied as easily as I breathed. 
I mean, I can still see why you're defending her at this point. You have to believe. You just bought a house together. So yes, surely it's going to work out for the best. Matt doesn't need to know the deep, dark depths that this thing really gets to. So Matt says, all right, man. Well, let me know if you need anything else. Congrats on the new house. We exchange the standard bro dude hug, backslap handshake gesture, and parted ways. Soon enough, our $7,500 home buyer credit came in, and we spent it on some essentials. A washing machine and a dryer, and then we splurged on a nice sofa slash love seat combo with reclining seats, and finally a nice king bed for the master suite that made Lily happy enough to agree to parting with her water bed. My bedroom accoutrement went to the larger of the upstairs bedrooms along with my computer. Lily's computer went into the second bedroom upstairs and we were officially moved in. Great, now our whole relationship is going to start clicking like clockwork, isn't it? Now that we've made a huge financial investment together, everything's gonna turn out all right. <laughs> uh, oh man. Our mortgage was higher than our previous rent payment was, but I was confident that Lily had done the math and that we could afford it. And afford it we could, but the margin was small. Oh, small margins, puh! Just sell more hours of your life, what's wrong with that? Hop on your bike. <laughs> it's time to uh, work some Uber Eats, or I guess it's 2008. So it's time to invent Uber Eats, okay? That's what we're doing now. <laughs> Months passed in cohabitation, but something had changed in Lily. She became a bit more demanding of me. We generally had chores split, and I was in charge of the dishes. If the sink got a little too full of old dishes, which I was prone to do, I never let it get truly bad, but I would go a week sometimes before cleaning up the kitchen. A week, dude? <laughs> uh, yeah, that's, that's kind of a bridge too far for me as well. Probably her reaction to it's way over the top, but why would you not wash the dishes while the, the food is still wet on it? You're gonna let it dry on there and then you gotta scrape and scrub? Nah, it's not the way to go. Why would you live your life like this? Anyways, of course, Lily would snip and nag at me until it got done. We now had a lawn to maintain as well, which was also my responsibility. I hated lawn work, but this was part of home ownership, and we'd gotten a nice used mower from Craigslist, I think. If I let the grass get too high, I would get torn apart. In the apartment, it didn't really bother her if the dishes went for a bit unless something started to smell. At which point, I agreed that it had gone too long. Here, she needed everything clean all the time. Spotless. I don't know, man. Sometimes my wife gets sort of the same way, and I have to remind her that we don't live in a Hallmark movie. We have three children, and yes, sometimes there are going to be piles of toys or clothes on the floor for days at a time. And you just gotta be okay with it. And she's doing better at letting go. But you need to have a frank conversation with Lily about how she really needs to let go. There's probably also the factor that wifey and I've been married for six years and, and we're kind of used to each other's idiosyncrasies. Right now, OP and Lily are still getting used to each other. The limerence is just wearing off, you know? New relationship smell. The honeymoon phase is somewhat over. And now, and now we get to see what you guys are truly made of. <laughs> so OP says it was easy enough to do these tasks, but her constant pricking of me when things weren't done as soon as she liked began to wear on me. To me, it wasn't a big deal, but she wanted a spotless home, so I tried to keep up. But being inherently a bit lazy, I do admit that I would let things go sometimes. Her nagging got to me, but the good times were still good. Yay! <laughs> the times between fights are great. <laughs> <laughs> Sitting on our new couch, watching anime rips from Torrance, suppers together, it was a normal life if you discounted her snide poking at me. Okay, now imagine a partner that can give you that normal life without any of the snide poking. Oh, we're living in heaven now. <laughs> Obviously, I don't mean Lily, I mean with somebody completely different, but yeah, you get where I'm coming from, don't you? 
A few more months passed without any significant incident. Then Lily comes home from work one evening and announces she has an interview with a satellite TV provider. Now, there were two major call centers for satellite TV providers in Tulsa. I had once worked for DirecTV, and she had landed an interview with Dish Network. They were opening a dispatch center for their technicians, and apparently the pay was pretty good for our area. God, remember when people used to pay for cable? That's adorable. <laughs> uh, anybody still have cable in their house? Leave a comment so we can laugh at you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. I know you don't want to miss your sports ball games, that's fine. Uh, needless to say, Lily got the job and encouraged me to apply as well, since the money was better. It was true, it was a good 25% better than what I was making at MetLife, so I applied and sure enough, I got the job. We were dispatchers now, working for Dish Network, making pretty decent money, unbeknownst to me, this was another claw. For those of you keeping count at home, that's four now. Yeah, I can't imagine ever working at the same place as my significant other. You need a little time apart. <laughs> you can't just home and work together all the time, always, forever. It's gonna, it's gonna explode. Now Lily had me at home, and she had me at work as well. There was nowhere that I wasn't under her supervision. And you just agreed to all this. That's the craziest part to me. I'd be like, nah, I think I'm good. I don't think working at the same place is healthy. There you go. Line in the sand and we're done. But OP is lazy to the point of like not even wanting to make his own decisions, which I sort of identify with. I did go through a point like that in my 20s, but come on, man. We, we can do better than this. <laughs> Pull yourself up and out. Work there was pretty easy. Dispatching wasn't hard. But sometimes you had to draw a hard line for the technicians to meet deadlines. Here is where Lily made her first friends in Tulsa. We'll discuss them in later chapters. By this time, Lily's frequent demeaning of me had begun to take its toll on my psyche. I don't talk about it much in previous chapters, but nearly every day she had some criticism of me. No, you didn't even have to mention that, OP. I sort of already inferred as much. <laughs> A lot of these criticisms were valid. I didn't brush my teeth often enough. True. I was lazy. Also true. I had no drive. Semi-true. The truth of the matter was that I was imperfect. I was perfectly happy to spend my days with Lily at home in front of the TV, watching TV, or playing video games. I mean, those don't really seem like nitpicky criticisms. <laughs> I thank people when they remind me of stuff like that. Wifey's like, no offense, your armpits stink. And I say, thank you, darling. I'll go take a shower. Because sometimes you forget. Sometimes it's good to be reminded. But also, you don't really need to drive it down my throat every single day. Especially if it's gaslighting. And I know I'm not stinky. <laughs> uh... So yeah, teeth brushing, I approve. The lazy no drive thing, it comes with time. You expected me to be super passionate about working in a direct TV call center? What's wrong with you? My passion is for going home and watching the things I want to watch on the entertainment obelisk. Anyways, a few months after working there, we decided to purchase laptops for each of us so we could game on the couch together rather than in different rooms. Bro, it's too much time together. It's too much. <laughs> uh, it could have worked if you guys learned how to be apart at any point. We would laugh and play and watch anime and just exist in each other's spaces. Please, please don't exist in my space. Sometimes I need my space, okay? Despite the slow, psyche-destroying demeaning, I was genuinely happy. <laughs> Or so you thought. Come on, you can't actually believe that, right? We would go to work together, and come home together, and cook dinner together, and just be with one another... ...together. Forever! 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 Yeah, and she would peck the back of your skull out <laughs> during all of these times. There's no escape? How are you not losing your mind? Luca's gonna snap at some point, you know? I'm not saying he's gonna kick down the door with an AR-15, but... <laughs> He is gonna need to make his escape. So then, Lily began to demean my work performance, telling me that I was doing things wrong. 
I wasn't, it just wasn't how she did things. Telling me how good her service areas were. Pointing out flaws in my service areas. Oh God, <laughs> I'm dying. I don't care about it even from coworkers. I doubly don't care for my wife. How about that? Let's get real. It's just a fucking job. <laughs> I suspect it might have come from a place of wanting me to improve, but honestly, it just hurt my pride. I was among the top five performers at work. Lily was determined to be number one, of course, which was fine, and she did that quite easily. But I was happy with my performance. However, Lily wanted perfection, as always. You should come after the number one slot and knock her down to number two and then just turn your whole marriage into a competition about who does better providing digital cable from DirecTV. Sure, it seems like a sad, meaningless, empty life on the surface, <laughs> but if we do it long enough, then we'll convince ourselves that it's what we always wanted. <laughs> so ridiculous. Uh, a year into living together at the new home, her constant stream of insults grated on me. Each little snide comment or remark on my character would be like sandpaper, slowly wearing away at the thin veneer of my resolve. I'll preface this next part by saying that I have never shouted at a loved one before, and never after, but Lily was like a master surgeon, knowing exactly which nerves to snip and which buttons to press. It was only a matter of time before something happened. Yeah, like I said, you about to snap. <laughs> One evening, I went out with Matt for the first time in a long while. We went to Magoo's, drank a few beers, chatted, talked about the days we used to cruise Memorial, and just reminisced. All told, I was gone for about four hours. I came home around 11 p.m. to Lily, sitting on the couch, watching some anime that we had promised to watch together, alone. She was several episodes ahead. Not a big deal. I'm sure she wouldn't mind watching again with me so I could catch up. She looked at me staring daggers. So, who you been out fucking? Oh boy, here we go. I guess we're doing this now. <laughs> Do you see any lipstick on my collar? How do you come at me like that with no proof whatsoever? I'm not even gonna defend myself. You know what? I'm going to bed. You can apologize to me for that statement when you're ready. <laughs> I was deeply committed to her. The thought of another woman had never even crossed my mind. Yeah, I was a man, and occasionally I would glance at an attractive woman as she passed. Chicks do it too, honestly. Me and wifey went to Barakai, and both of us were checking out the Festival of Flesh. Okay, <laughs> as long as you're secure in your own relationship, yeah, go ahead, look, it's fine. Uh, Lily, of course, would always catch my glance, watching me like an owl whenever someone remotely attractive came into my field of view. <laughs> uh, she will peck your eyes out, she will peck your brain in, and she's over your shoulder like all of the time. How do you live like this for an entire year? I, I, I would be up and out so fast. We are not going to work. Each time Lily would prod me and say, just go bang her already or something similar. I always passed that off as jealousy, but this was definitely an accusation. One that cut me deep because I'd never do anything like that. And with that, I snapped. The dam broke. There was a ringing in my ears and the words fell out of my mouth without consent. Let's get ready to rumble! Round one, fight! Bing bing, OP. Oh, we fucked everybody at the bar. It was a wild orgy, Lily. You should have been there. Could have had four dicks to yourself if you wanted. It was asses to balls, wall to wall. I banged everybody, I shouted. I am not proud of it, but I shouted. Whoa, OP from the top rope! Somebody get that guy a folding chair! <laughs> <laughs> Lily, you would! I always see you looking at other girls. Why don't you go hit one of them up and have a great time? Hell, call Heidi. I bet her slutty ass would give it up again. 
she screamed back. Oh, yes. Just throw everything in each other's faces. Here we go. How long do you think it's going to be before somebody throws a plate? <laughs> OP says, why do you assume I want to bang every woman I come across? I ask loudly. Lily, well, you did a good job of that while you weren't with me, she cried. Tears starting to form on her face. Oh, see? This is what happens. She comes in with the aggression, she gets pushed back on, and then she bends. She buckles like a goddamn belt and starts crying to get back on the winning side of the situation. I hate this. She really is just the worst. OP says, what do you not understand about my commitment to you? We have a house together. I'm not cheating. I never have. I never will. Stop being such a bitch about all of this. Lily stopped. I had never called her the B word before. She was stunlocked. Yeah, truth hurts, don't it? <laughs> Lily, did you just... OP, yeah, you're being a bitch right now. I'm tired of your constant snide comments about my past. I'm not banging anybody but you. Hell, I'm not even thinking about it. Do I look at attractive women? Sure, but it's only in passing. And you're still the most beautiful woman in my eyes. I'm a guy, and I glance at women sometimes. Fucking get over it! Lily, now fully crying. <laughs> you're such a bastard! She stood up and stormed to her bedroom. Oh yeah, who's the real victim here? <laughs> uh, look at me, big bad OP telling it like it is. If you would not like to be called one of those things, maybe you should not act like one of those things. OP says, are you jealous you've really only been with me? Is that it? I followed her. Well, have a hall pass. Go bang somebody else if you want. Get that jealousy out of your goddamn system if it means I don't have to deal with all your constant needling. She slammed the door of her bedroom. Ah, nice healthy relationship. Everybody's just having a good time. I'm glad we bought this house together, you guys. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, cuts me deep. It cuts me deep. But also, I have purposely avoided situations like this. I've had girlfriends I've been with for three years say, let's buy a house. And I'm like, nah. We ain't married, we ain't buying a house. Aren't you guys so looking forward to going to work together tomorrow? <laughs> uh, imagine the carpool ride over. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry that brings me so much joy, but it really is hilarious. <laughs> uh, this is like watching my parents' relationship unfold before my eyes. Oh, <laughs> OP just sat on the couch and caught his breath. I just had a shouting match with someone that I loved, and I said a lot of things that I didn't mean. How did that happen? i never done that before. Even when Heidi cheated on me in the parking lot of DirecTV, classy broad, <laughs> classy broad. <laughs> uh, I didn't shout, I just cried a little and forgave her. Which she never should have done that. Oh, no. I listened to her crying in her bedroom. I couldn't cry, however. The tears just wouldn't come. For some reason, I felt nothing but righteous indignation and anger. There was no sadness. Sighing, I stood up and made my way to the kitchen before getting started on the dishes, as if getting that chore done would somehow undo how I had acted moments before. I can sort of see the logic there. Scrub away the stains on these plates that we couldn't scrub away from our own relationship. It's kind of poetic if you think about it. That task done, I wandered upstairs to my own bedroom and shut the door. That night would be the first time that we had a screaming match, but it would not be the last. I know, OP. I know. <laughs> She knew she could do it now, and it would be fun and interesting to find new ways to break me. But those are stories for another day. For now, we'll leave things off right here. Thanks for reading and watching and listening, and thanks to Red for everything that he does. No apologies for spelling or grammar mistakes. Own your mistakes! Luca, out. Well, it seems like that separate bedrooms thing is certainly working out. Better let it fester overnight so we can have a nice car argument on the ride to work in the morning. <laughs> uh.
<laughs> that, that just kills me, dude. How awkward could it possibly be? This is one of those things that you should definitely address, don't go to sleep angry, etc. But yeah, nobody wants to be the first to apologize. You don't even have to apologize, just go in there and open up a dialogue. But I understand, sometimes it's really hard. I've never been uh, accused directly of, of cheating like that. Wifey will dig through my stuff from time to time, but it's like, go ahead. I got nothing to hide. <laughs> I'm not the cheating sort. Although, early on in the relationship, we, we did have our struggles. But I've learned, I've grown, I can't save every woman in the world, I have to pick one. So I did. I mean, Luca also picked just one, but he picked the wrong one to start. I think he's got the right one now, though. <laughs> she seems really nice in the Discord server, so congratulations to both of you. Lily, I, I do hope that you got it figured out at some point. I appreciate you guys for watching along with me. I hope you like, comment, subscribe. If you did enjoy the video, you know, maybe share it around. Just if you've got somebody that wants to relive some parental divorce moods. That's kind of the vibe that I got from it. <laughs> but hey, that's just my old frame of reference. I hope you follow me on social medias as well. TikTok, Twitter. Uh, Teespring merch is down there. You can also support me on Patreon. YouTube channel memberships. Thanks button. PayPal.me, etc, etc. If you can afford to give me money, I will gladly take it, is what I'm saying. If you can't... Don't sweat it too hard, friends. You watch the video. What more could I ask except that you come back tomorrow and watch us again? In order to do so, keep yourself safe out there. Wash your hands. And always remember that you are loved. You are worthy. You definitely, definitely deserve it. And I shall see you in the next one. So until then, bye-bye. Uh, it's only worth it if you work for it. I won't stop till they hear me now. I won't stop till I wear the crown.